that I'm this close. I want this! Form zero! Thunder! If you fall asleep, we're leaving you.
You'll be facing Shigure soon. Yeah, not long now. I know this is a weird time to bring this up, Lafayette, said, but there's something I've been meaning to ask you. All right, ask away. I knew you'd say that. So, uh, how was your bath and Mercio? Huh? You, uh, you went in with Velvet, right? Just between us guys. What was it like? W what are you getting at, Rogoro? Let me in on this, too. It'll be our secret. Not you, too, Aizen! There's nothing to be ashamed of. There are just certain times in life when you need to find your resolve and seize the opportunity. We just want to know what your resolve got you. Right. It's like a test. Stop it! I didn't go into the bath with her! Now that's a shame. That might have been your one shot. Once you're all grown up, you won't be able to get away with it. That's why I didn't do it. I'm tired of Velvet treating me like a little kid. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> you passed the test. Right. You don't need me to watch over you anymore. Why did you laugh like that? We're just happy that you're growing up. I don't understand you two. If you're just gonna pick on me, go away. <laughs> We're sorry, but I really needed that. Laughter's good for the soul. Rokuro... Were you feeling tense? You wouldn't think it, huh? But now I can fight like I always do. I owe you, Luffy said. Yeah, don't worry about it. Looks like the next test is yours. Yeah. 
Lafisset, Eisen, watch me prove myself. It's an honor to serve as the vanguard. Rokuro, how do you think Shigure will move against us? He's not really the imaginative type. He'll be out in the open, waiting for us. for a flanking attack. We don't need to worry about an ambush. Shigure is waiting for us ahead. Really? He's really just waiting for us here? Rokuro? It's okay. Incredible! The old bastard forged himself into a sword! Indeed. That blade's the embodiment of Kurogane's centuries of study. The Kurogane Stormquell. I like it. Just Kurogane for now. He will be the blade that surpasses both Stormquell and Stormhell. And when it does, then he will have earned the name Kurogane Stormquell. Ah, oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Sorry to keep you waiting. Watch out. I wouldn't be surprised if he used an Armatus. An Armatus? It's not my style to rely on anyone's help. Ha! <laughs> Says the big bad exorcist. Look, you'll even ask a tubby kitty for help. Shut up! I'm totally not! He isn't. Quite the opposite, actually. Shigure asked me to restrain his power. Restrain his power? Wait, you don't mean... She does. It's from my training. 
At first, I could barely even move my little finger. Morgrim, release my bindings. Can a human even be this strong? Kitty Wampus was holding him back? With enough will, humans can do anything. This was to be my secret weapon against Artorius. I'm impressed. Bobaro! Sorry, but we're pitching in. Good. I'll take you all at once. Forget about fighting fair! You won't beat me unless you use everything you've got! I know. All too well. All right. Let's have some fun. You got it. Round 1013, begin! Seriously, you're still counting only because they were all losses. But that ends today. I don't even need to dodge. It'll be the same every time. Where the fight truly begins, Shigure! What do you know? I totally agree. People are really something, aren't you? Don't act like you're impressed. I haven't even shown you my true blade. Your true blade? Well then, no time for me to take a break. Shigure! Keep out of this one, Morgrim. Plenty of power left. Of course he does. He's Shigure Rangetsu after all. 
two blades. You sure? Why don't you find out? It's your life on the line. The same goes for you. This is your true blade. That's right. I developed this technique... to defeat you. Not bad at all. This is my parting gift to Kurogane. Take... Storm Howl. One last thing. Please, let this fat cat go. She good, eh? She good, eh? You were ordered to be executed because I... I was already planning on leaving. I was sick of living the life of a chained dog. Stop worrying about the little things. Rejoice when your blade finds its mark. Seethe when it doesn't. Die when one finds you. That's all there is to it. The way of the sword is a simple one. That's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> That's the vicious face I'm looking for. If only Artorius' stony face could smile like that, he'd be a lot happier. Yeah. Velvet. We're good? We're good. My blade found its mark. matter? Why are you crying? I'm not crying. Okay. <laughs> okay? Is that all you have to say? What's wrong? You really are crying. You and Shigure. Your brother is... but... Oh, that. It's really nothing to shed tears over. <laughs> How can you pretend it's not important? Don't tell me it's because you're a demon. You went and answered your own question. So you will say it's because you're a demon? No, that's not the answer, actually. It's not because I'm a demon. It's because we're swordsmen that I'm not sad. Huh? When we fought, when we both really fought, I got this sharp, vivid feeling that pierced straight to my core. When we were both throwing ourselves wholly into the battle, we wanted to keep on fighting forever like an unquenchable thirst. That's a feeling we only got from each other. Lord Shigure did seem to be enjoying himself. I feel like I can understand it a little better now. 
but I'll never comprehend it. That's for the better. If you did, you'd end up like us. <laughs> Probably so. I wonder when I'll be able to have a match like that again. You won't have to worry about that. Hmm? Huh? Just as you work so hard to defeat Lord Shigure, another swordsman will do the same to defeat you. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Your positivity reminds me of him. Now I'm suddenly craving a cup of Yozakura Anmitsu. Yozakura Anmitsu? Cherry blossom flavored sweet bean paste, black sesame ice cream and fruit. It was Shigure's favorite. Hmm. That's kind of hard to picture, but I'd like to try it. But settled then. When this is all over, I'll take you out for some. I look forward to that. Then make sure you come back alive, all right? You too, Rokuro. Yozakura Anmitsu. I won't forget. If you want to leave now, Rokuro, I won't stop you. Don't forget. My purpose here is to repay my debt to you. You should get out of here while you still have the chance. If things get hairy, I'll run. But please, let me stay here a little longer. I owe Shigure for giving me back my free will. And he always did hate to be alone. I never knew that. You didn't? Weren't you his brother? We never had time to think about anything other than our training. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any insult. He lived and he died according to his own beliefs. That has to be good enough. Humans like that are not so bad. I suppose we aren't. You're a funny sort of Moloch, aren't you? Thanks for the compliment. Got it. It's my turn. You know what you're getting into? Yeah, my time to shine. It's an honor to serve as the va- Rokuro, you said something to him at the end. To Shigure? Yeah. Maybe it's not my place to ask, but... I don't mind. It was just something that happened long ago. The story about Shigure plotting to overthrow our lord. That was a lie. A lie that I spread. But why... I wanted a just cause to strike him down. Storm Howl, Shigure's name, the leadership of the clan. I used to want all of that for myself. Do you regret it? Not at all. Besides, Shigure figured it out a long time ago. But really, I don't know what made me think I had the strength to defeat him back then. He was truly strong. Of course he was. He was the head of the Rangetsu family, the strongest warriors in all the land. Rokuro, does this make you head of the clan now? No. I'm a demon. And more importantly, all I ever wanted was to beat my brother. That's enough for me. No dawdling. If I'm... No, it's Torrid! Wait, no! It's hot! Can you please stop making a fuss? Anyone who can keep their cool inside a volcano needs their head examined! I can feel the power of the Earth Pulse flowing upward. This is the Life Spring. That's odd. Melchior isn't here. Have you devoured even Shigure, Lord of Calamity? But remember, 
The only exorcist whose souls are worthy of sacrifice. Oshigure, Oscar, Teresa, and me! He's above us, at the volcano's peak. With three souls, you can only awaken three Empyreans! That won't be enough to seal Inominant's power! If you are missing even one, awakening them will cause this volcano to explode, with you inside it! If you seek to awaken all four elemental Empyreans, then come! Try and take my soul from me! What do you think, Mogilu? Trap. Melchior's greatest strength lies in his power over ice. I only wish we could lure him down here. But we dare not forget. He's an exorcist who spent years plotting to awaken a Nominat. Exactly. He could be capable of anything. It'd be dangerous to assume otherwise. Maybe this is the wrong time, but Mogulu, you're related to Melchior, right? You'd better believe it's the wrong time. Long ago, I was Magilanika Lu Maven, Melchior's foster daughter, and before I was cast out, his disciple. Magilanika? The, the lost legate! Huh. So even after ten years, my name still lives on. I'm impressed. You must have commanded a lot of respect. Not in the least. The relationship between Melchior and I was like that between Velvet and Artorias. The debts owed, and the grudges held. Velvet, you don't have to believe me. You may never believe me. But I tell you now, I want to settle my- I don't much care about the affairs of a witch, now do I? I'm going to the peak to find him. Just doing what I want. Like always. Yep, that's right. And I'm going with you. Like always. Piece of cake, it's a cinch, piece of cinch. It's scorching, it's freezing, it's scorching. What are you muttering about? You told me to chill out when I complained about the heat. Is that still bothering you? I heat up quickly and cool down slowly. I'm not bothering anyone, so go on, get lost! That's even more annoying. I mean, come on. If it's both hot and cold, it's not scoresing. It's freaching, clearly. That doesn't sound like me at all. Wait, that's not even my point! My skin feels like a frozen shell, but somehow my insides are boiling! This is miserable! It should be one or the other. I can't stand this fence-sitting! Oh? Well, so what about the pineapple and sweet and sour pork? A sweet omelet? A crime against nature. Chocolate-covered raisins? Whoever thought of dried grapes should be hanged! Well then, what about peach pie? I don't see what you're getting at! What about yourself? Utterly vile. Doesn't that make you a fence-sitter? That's why I'm having you eat that old man and shove him into the life spring. I hope you learn to like yourself. <sighs> don't try to embarrass me. Ah, is it the witching hour?
I'll cut down anyone in my way! Yes, it's tough.
We just need one last soul to awaken the elemental Empyreans. Are you alright, Velvet? I'll eat Melchior, and our collection will be complete. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about you. You collapsed after the thing with Teresa and Oscar, remember? Ah, <sighs> you wonder if I'm fine after eating Shigure. It's not a problem. But wasn't Shigure a lot more powerful than they were? But look at me. I'm fine, right? Does it seem like I'm faking it? No. I think I'm just used to it. Both my body and mind. You're not just used to it. You've changed. Mm -hmm. Just as I changed after finding my free will, you've gotten stronger through our travels, too. You faced down many sorrows and hardships and overcame them all. Did I, though? You did. And that's why I... Ah! I'll make you a quiche later. Could you make pudding too? Sure. But are you just trying to butter me up so I'll cook for you? Well, I mean... Uh, yeah. How did you know? You really have grown a lot, haven't you? Alright, let's go and find me some Melchior to eat. Yeah!
I'm not sure what Melchior is really capable of. What kind of man is he? To put it short, he's the Exorcist's shadow. Their shadow? They're supposed to be free of malevolence, but they're only human, and so are those who they want to save. But sincerity and conviction alone won't save the world. To remain free of malevolence, they need someone to do their dirty work. A shadow. I see. And that's Melchior's job. During all my time at the Abbey, I was never aware of what he was really doing. So, why hasn't he succumbed to malevolence? Because his belief in the Exorcists as the saviors of the world is pure and unyielding. It is a mountain of ice that will neither boil, nor melt, nor break. I know the depths of his frozen heart all too well. Uh, wait! Does that mean you? Yes. Melchior was raising me to be the shadow for the next leader of the Exorcists. Artorius himself. But that was a terrible mistake. I was unable to live up to his expectations. So if things had gone as he planned, we'd be fighting you instead of Melchior. I'm glad that didn't have to happen. True. If Mogulu was running the Abbey... They would be completely unpredictable. That would be fearsome. Maybe. But doesn't that sound like a whole lot of fun? So Melchior was my shadow too. Oh, feeling too sympathetic to fight him. I wouldn't say that. There's nothing to be sad about. Removing shadows is part of a shadow's job. Even if I'm a failed shadow, I'm still a witch and I cast a deeper darkness. I can see the peak just ahead. If Melchior's anywhere, he's there. Be careful. That crafty old buzzard is nothing like Shigure. He won't fight us head on. Is victory for us really possible? We're facing the Legate, Lord Melchior. I'd give us around four to one against. Four to one? Are our chances that slim? Almost every trick I or any current exorcist knows can be traced back to him. If I throw out three arts at once, he'll pull six out of his hat. He knows our capabilities and he's got far more power. Four to one might be generous. I suppose you're right. However, we have Velvet, the boy, and Rokuro. Who knows what value they'll add when they run amok? It's impossible to calculate, but if luck goes our way, our chances will rise considerably. Right. We are challenging the hardest possible foe. But I'm only talking about a straight-up fight, knowing Melky or he'll have some nasty tricks. No matter how you analyze it, the outlook is grim. Aizen, you too? What's wrong with a level-headed look at things? Careful consideration could give us the tool we need to turn the odds in our favor. After all, Magilu, forewarned is forearmed, right? Yes, that's true. Even still, we won't find a weakness in him. Let's take another hard look. What we need might be lying right at our feet. At our feet, eh? I'll keep my eyes on the ground as we walk, then.
Four elemental Imperiums are the beings that maintain the balance and harmony between Earth, water, wind, and fire. Have you even stopped to think about why they sleep? About what waking them will do to this world's order? Not really. I don't much care. They sleep because of arrogant, insolent wretches like you. The Imperians derive their power and that of their blessings from the prayers of the pure at heart. But humans became corrupted and neglected their prayers. The forgotten Imperians drifted into slumber. Human prayers are the source of their power? Just like the Malachim. Are you trying to say Enominot blesses someone when he eats their soul? As the fifth Imperium, Enominot's purpose is to eat human souls, malevolence and all, and to wipe the slate clean. When all mankind is once again pure as a newborn babe, the elemental Imperians can be safely revived. You want to wipe the slate? But that means... Yes, civilization will crumble. The spread of malevolence, the cleansing of the Nominat, the cycle has repeated countless times over the eons. That is why human civilization rises and falls. But if this continues, humanity will never surpass a certain threshold. Thus, the Abbey will control Illuminat's power, so that we may guide humanity into a new, better era. It all makes sense now. You developed the art of armatization to control Illuminat. And, in order to create the Armatus, you needed the technology found in Siegfried, didn't you? So that's why you got Eifried involved in all of this. Just as light cannot exist without darkness, no great achievement comes without sacrifice. Even I must be made tribute for the sake of our ideal world! <laughs> He's a crafty old buzzard. I should have known it wouldn't be that simple. <laughs> Rebellious fools, you'll fall and so far, Magilanica. I'm Magilanica no longer! I am the evil witch! Maggie! No wounds that will be fun! Let's 
driven by the Polish cold bags! Absolutely not! to add years to his life. Centuries, even. Is that what you call rational? Sounds like an obsession. 
<sighs> I've said the same thing thousands of times. If it were my choice, I'd have let myself die naturally long ago. But did he not say? Man can turn reason into disorder, but also can we surpass it? Our true power is in transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. So were the words of the exorcist Claudin. They were foolish. Think what you will. I'll show you the truth of his words. You think illusions will work on us now? <laughs> Not in the least. But it put me enough time to finish my art. You'll die too! As long as I take the Lord of Calamity with me, I have no regrets. That's because... I for a reason! Hey, Master. Emotions are a real pain, aren't they? What was that? The elemental Empyreans have awoken. We are free. We will no longer be your tools. Oh dear, what's happening? You saved us, Mogulu. Thanks. If you hadn't thrown Melchior off balance, we'd all be dead. I settled my own affairs. Nothing more. But if you want to thank me, I accept gifts. I take it back. He couldn't hurt those flowers. Was that his oath? No. That old fool loved flowers more than anything else. Far more than he did any living human. 
that's all there was to it. I suppose even a legate could never fully control his heart. Same goes for a witch. Sometimes living can be the hardest affliction. Have the four elemental Empyreans awakened? Who knows? But anything that would sleep through that isn't worth our time. Better watch your mouth or they'll smite you. I can feel a shift in Inominat's domain. Yeah. All four of them have awoken. Inominat has been pushed out from the Earth pulses. Humanity's amplified resonances will diminish, and many Malachim will regain their free will. The Exorcists will likely lose a good chunk of their forces. Eleanor, have you lost your ability to fight too? Sorry to disappoint, but I can still see you. Evil demons, Malachim, and witches alike. You know where he is. I can feel him. His body has left the Earth pulses. He's somewhere above the Empyrean's throne now. Arturius is with him. However, Inominat is pushing back against the other Empyreans with incredible force. If the four are defeated, we'll lose our last chance. No time to waste. Let's go. It's time to end this. Yeah! The mountain doesn't appear to be erupting. Or doing anything else, really. I'd say that's a relief. Were Melchior's claims only a bluff? I'm not convinced. Most of his threats had as much truth in them as he could muster. With the four Empyreans revived, the land is awakened. Changes in the Earth that once took eons will now happen in a few hundred years. A few hundred years? The mountain will erupt, but not for a long while. A long while to a human, maybe. But compared to the history of the land, it'll be a blink of an eye. But he know me not as the Empyrean of Suppression. Who can say what will happen when we kill him? <gasps> well, it's not like I care anyway. I think we should care. Melchior sure was strong, wasn't he? Yeah. If it weren't for Mogilu's help, we wouldn't have stood a chance. But you saw the opening she gave us and took it. Did you want to be the one to finish him off? If it mattered to me, I'd have fought him alone. We all had our reasons to fight him. The opportunity just happened to be yours. That's all there is to it. I understand. If Melchior had only manipulated Eifried for personal reasons, then that would be settled now. But he was acting based on his idea of reason. That creating a world without malevolence was worth the cost of destroying people's free will. Eifried won't be avenged until I destroy that very philosophy. Your business with the Abbey isn't done. Not even close. You all could just sit around twiddling your thumbs, and I'd still take the heads of Artorius and Enominat on my own. If you want to be the ones to finish them off, you'll have to beat me to it. <laughs> You're on. I'll fight with everything I've got. That's all I can do. That's plenty. I really don't mean to pry, but I've gotta know. Does it feel good to pinch all those souls out from your stomach? That's kind of a gross way of putting it. I have to agree with Velvet. The way you put it sounds so... inappropriate. I'm pretty sure that was her point. Oh, I'm sorry. Why so cranky? I was only asking to see if you were getting hungry or not. Then ask that in the first place. Are you? Hungry, that is. I do feel hungry, now that you mention it. But I don't think it has to do with losing those souls. Then why is it? Maybe my appetite is increasing as Inominat's suppression weakens. Yeah, I'm suddenly feeling hungry myself. My stomach could start growling at any moment. I have been thinking of nothing but delicious things to eat for a while now. I bet Mogilu only brought it up because she's feeling peckish herself. No, no, that's not the reason at all. That settles it then. When we get back to the ship, you can take guard duty while we eat. I'll make a quiche and pudding. I'll cook up some penguin and tomato stew. Ooh, I'd love to try your cooking, Madam Eleanor. Let's get back to the ship. <laughs> Getting all fired up about food, I would never... I would kill for a big bowl of sweet collegian style borscht! Then go find me some peaches. Why peaches? Because you can't have collegian borscht without peach pie for dessert. We've found quite a few geotrees so far. 
I feel like I've run three marathons back to back. I'm sorry, Bienfu. That's okay. All this exercise is making me nice and buff. You're right. You don't look any different, but when I touch you, I definitely feel muscles. <laughs> I bet I could even take down Aizen and Rokuro with a single well-placed hit. I'm not so sure, but okay. <laughs> Pianfu, I know we're placing a heavy burden on you with all this geoboard business, and I'm sorry for that. But we really appreciate it. You've been truly helpful. Aw, Madam Eleanor, <laughs> you're too sweet. You're nothing like that mean old Miss Mogilu. How are you coping with your fatigue? I'm kind of not, actually. In fact, I don't think I'll ever recover. Unless you give me a nice massage, Madam Eleanor. I think I can manage that. I didn't think that actually work. I'm quite good at working out those pressure points. I can really grind the butt of my spear in just the right spots and have you feeling refreshed in no time. But I have to warn you, it might hurt a little bit. What? You know what? Never mind. I'm good. And you don't have to push so hard. Okay, that is refreshing, but ow! 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 All right, let's do this. Leave the fighting to me. Understood. Let's do our best. Glad to see you made it back in one piece, Velvet. I'm here on orders from the boss to help you guys out. We could certainly use it. How are things back in the city? I came here from Helleviz, so I don't know how far the suppression has progressed. But I can tell you that the Abbeys designated the area north of Helleviz as a Class IV administrative zone. Which means they've pulled their forces out of the area. What about the people of Mercio? Everyone got out safe and sound, although they did petition for the extermination of the Lord of Calamity. Of course. I say we make this town our new hideout. When else are we ever gonna find a hideout that comes with hot springs? That's a good idea. We should leave Kamoana and the others here. Dial, could you stay and help them out? <laughs> As if you even had to ask. Well, that's surprisingly reliable for you, Dial. Hey, that hurts. Now get going already. Benwick and the crew are making preparations in Helleviz right now. Hey, Rokuro, how'd the showdown with your brother turn out? I killed him. But I couldn't break Stormhowl. Is that because Stormhowl was an even stronger sword than Kuragane's? No. Even with Shigure's full strength behind it, Stormhowl didn't even leave a nick in Kuragane's blade. If I didn't have this sword, I'd be dead now. I think I just couldn't break Stormhowl because I'm still too inexperienced. But you won the match, didn't you? Yeah, but only by combining my techniques with Kurogane's craftsmanship. If that's the case, then as long as you're wielding it, that sword is Stormquell. After all, Kurogane's sword did quell the Godblade's raging storm. Do you think Kurogane would agree? Are you kidding? You know how stubborn that guy is. He'd just say he'd forge something even stronger the next time. 
And that's why I say you shouldn't be satisfied with how you are either, Rokuro. I know. I'll find even stronger opponents to cut down. By my hand, Kurogane's Storm Quell will become even more legendary than Storm Howl ever was. That's the spirit! Show them what we demons can do! You sound so serious, like it's the eve of the final battle. Well, isn't it? Can't you let yourself get caught up in the moment for a change? Getting caught up in the moment is for young, foolhardy lovers. So, what is it you want to talk about? I just figured I should drop by since, well, like I said, the final battle with Inominat is coming up and all. Ugh. You're talking like you're saying your last goodbyes. It's just that we're up against a lot. Even Miss Mogilu doesn't know what the future holds for us, and she almost always has that stuff figured out. Whether she has it figured out or not, it is our lot in life to follow our vessels and fight to the very end. That's what I've always thought, so I just dealt with Miss Mogilu's craziness up till now. But she's never thanked me for it. No, good job, Bienfu. No, I'm glad I'm your vessel. Not even something like, I'll introduce you to a cute girl when it's all over. It'd be nice to hear a little gratitude from her, even just once. Surely you know she's not the type to do that sort of thing, though, yes? That's all the more reason to want just one brief glimpse at who she is underneath. If you're so unhappy, it's not too late to switch back to the Abbey's side and become an informant again. What's the point in that? I don't know anything they'd want, and they wouldn't have any use for me there. So you lack confidence in your own abilities. Miss Moggy Lewis let me come with her wherever she went, and her talents have gotten us this far. But now that we have to fight Inominat, I'm worried. I don't know what use I can be for her, or if I can keep her safe. But you'll still go, won't you? Yeah, of course! Or else my name isn't Norman Brave! See, you can do this. You've been keeping Moggy Lou safe this whole time. With all the emotional pain she's been through, she's needed someone as thick-skinned and tenacious as you. She may talk like she doesn't care, but she wouldn't have tracked you down and renewed your pact if she didn't. When you put it like that... Bien! All right, you've convinced me! That's right. You just trust in old Norman Therapist's good advice. It won't steer you wrong. Wow! I'd have never expected you to actually make a joke like that, Grimoire! I just thought I'd get caught up in the moment like you wanted. Ah. <sighs> Thank you. 
there, exorcist! Do you know what happened to the Praetor? Lady Teresa? She used to be in charge here. Um... Lady Teresa is the only one who can restore law and order in our town. Please, send a message to the Abbey. Tell them that the citizens of Helavis are awaiting her return. Even if the Lord of Calamity herself were to attack, I won't budge until Lady Teresa returns to us. What will refusing to move accomplish? If my life is in danger, I know Lady Teresa will come to save me. Her, in that ice-cold glare of hers. Teresa won't be coming back. What? If you really love Teresa, you shouldn't rely on her to protect you. You should become strong enough to protect her. Whoa, that burning glare of yours. I think I like it. Wait, what? We're planning evacuation routes. We need to be ready if the Calamity or demons show up in town. When the Calamity attacked the first time, there was massive confusion. Some children got hurt in all the madness. We're preparing evacuation boats, so that we can all flee out to the sea if anything happens. It's a good idea, but it will be hard to evacuate the entire town by boat. You'd best prepare a land route, too. That's a good point. But wouldn't a land route run the risk of being attacked by demons? Yes. You'll need to guard it as heavily as you do the city gates. It would be best if you could devise a way to prevent demons from intercepting the escape route, but... Hmm. Some of the exorcists lost use of their Malachim. We can't count on the Abbey's garrison to help us. I'll send a request for aid to the Abbey. But please, don't give up! Try to think of something! Of course. There's no way we'll give up. You can't rely on someone else to protect you. Can you really ask the Abbey for help? I can send a Sylph Jade to some of my old friends from when I was still in training. Even if they refuse to trust a traitor like me, they won't ignore the plight of the people here in Helavis. Hey! How long are you going to sit there crying? You can't be a fisherman if you're afraid of some Lord of Calamity! The demons that wreck this town are still alive. Who knows when they'll show up again? How about right now? Sniveling idiot! Keep whining like that, and this calamity whatever will keep walking all over you! But what can we do? We can't even defeat a single demon. That's why we take our boats, catch some fish, and make sure we've got enough food to keep on surviving. Didn't they drill anything into that fool head of yours in school? Ugh. Do I have to knock some sense into you? Get up and get the boat ready! That is one hot-headed dad. Too hot for any demons to get near, that's for sure. Welcome back! I take it you defeated the Legates. Yes. But that still leaves Inominat and the Shepherd. Onward ho to the last battle! Oh, I picked up something nice for you. Here. An apple? It's a fortune apple. A good luck charm. No real powers, but they're hard to find. Legend has it, they're pretty lucky. A fortune apple! Hmm. <laughs> But we're the bad guys, aren't we? Maybe what we need is bad luck instead. I think the Reapers got that covered. Aw, oh, that's just mean. Well, <laughs> I appreciate the thought. Thanks, Benwick. I love apples. Just don't eat it. I couldn't eat it, even if I wanted. Wait a moment. That's right. My power to consume is a part of Inominat. If that's true, then... What is it? You want a bite? Delicious fortune apple. No way! That's a good luck charm! That it is. One to give you the courage you need to survive. Uh. So, where's our final destination? The Empyrean's throne. Sail for Port Zexon. Aye aye, ma'am. Aye aye, sir.
just don't need him. Got it? I won't. Don't worry. Do you think that with Inominot's power waning, people will be free again? Well, the pirates are acting like pirates again. May take longer for others, but I think it's happening. What do you think of traveling around to see for ourselves? I'd like to know what's going on out there. I'd like to meet the Elemental Empyreans, if I could. That's not a great idea. They're all in various Earth Pulse points, but where those are is a mystery. They could be very far off, and they might not view us as allies. Yep, gods live by their own rules. Our business with Inominot probably doesn't concern them. You're right. It might be wise to scope out the situation before our battle. As we go around, we might find out more about what Artorius is up to. Hey, Rokoro! I heard about a Class 4 island that sounds damn near perfect for you. An island that's perfect for me? Do the rivers flow with good drink? Now that you mention it. But no, different island. I'm talking about you as a swordsman. The demons there all run around the island in suits of armor and helmets and stuff, I hear. Armored demons are not unusual. Yeah, but what I heard tell was that all the exorcists who got sent there came back with their swords broken. I don't know if they've got swords too or if their armor is just that strong, but I reckon your sword will be able to stand up to them. Well then, I've heard worse ideas. If you believe the tales, that island used to be a place where swordsmen and knights competed to see who was stronger. Oh yeah, I know the island you're talking about. Craftsmen from all over gave their finest weapons and armor to the greatest of warriors and made them fight. It was as much a showcase for those wares as it was a contest of strength. So the demons on that island might come at us wielding fine arms and armor. I'm certainly up for checking it out. I'm curious to see how good the stuff really is. After all I've told you, you still want to go? What is wrong with you? Yeah. 